What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And yesterday I showed you guys how good Shane is as a damage dealer, but he's also an insane support, as I will show you guys today against Nightmare Geese. And even at level 90, guys, as long as you have his 3PG, and even in some cases without his 3PG, he's actually quite amazing. But before I go any further into this video, I do want to remind you guys to go ahead and use, if you have any of these tokens left, make sure that you do come in the exchange shop and make sure that you do buy whatever you need the 3pg for hodoru the set cards are a must and the second diamond stone are the best options for her past that you know buy whatever you want but i do want to remind you guys to do that now when it comes to using shane as a support in guild raid you got to play him a certain way, especially against Nightmare Geese. Now, I'm going to be doing some runs against Rugal. I haven't done them yet because we just logged in. I just logged in and we just had the reset. I haven't had any time to practice against Rugal as far as setting up any kind of strikers or anything like that. But against Nightmare Geese, this is the team that you really want to have set up, guys. You want to have Hodoru, and this is going to be a completely free-to-play team. Again, you just need Shunae at level 90. That's all you need with his 3PG in order to be able to do this. But we got Hodoru. We have Kuzanagi as a striker for Hodoru because of the decreased defenses by 30%, which is very, very nice. And then obviously Shane, we got Lady Yashio for a shock striker because we already have chill from Shane. And then of course, we're going to be using the free Ivy, a character that still is godly, especially after the score that you can see. Now, as far as the builds, guys, now in the run that you guys are going to watch with me using Hodoru, you know, she is an A5 on my account. I realize a lot of you players don't have her at A5. So in the run that I'm going to show you guys, don't start off and use Hodoru. Just go ahead and switch to Ivy and do her 3PG instead of starting off with Hodoru, stalling time, trying to get her EX core ready for the next rotation. Where that way you can get her uh, increased target damage received. So you won't have to do that if you don't have her at A5. But this is the set that you really want to run with her. This was a completely free-to-play set that you could put on her. You don't have to worry about a super armor card on this girl because she does have an interrupt skill on her hyper armor skill that is airborne which is awesome so you don't even need a super armor card for her uh at all i mean and the truth is you really don't need any pg rate card you can put two cooldown cards on her if you really want to guys you can put pg rate cards on her if you really want to it really doesn't matter but the thing that i want to stress about this run that i'm gonna show you guys is Everybody, so there's going to be people that's my critique and they'll be like, well, you should use the default for Shane or you should always use the 3PG for Hodoru. And guys, I've done extensive testing and the best score that I got is the way that I'm going to show you, okay? And that's because there's just certain inconsistencies as far as trying to use, you know, defaults from Shane every single time to get that extra 60% attack or using a 3PG every single time. Sometimes you got to play it by ear, but I'm going to show you a consistent run, okay? Now, when it comes to Shane, guys, if you put the Serena set on them, guys, this will be enough. This is a free-to-play set that you put on them. Now, if you are using the a different set, like, for example, the uh, the set that gives you all that PG rate that everybody could buy for rubies, that would actually be the better set to put on Shane. That would actually be really good because then you would always have the PG available for Hodoru every time you tag her in. You don't need this. It's not an absolute must. You can get away with not having it. You can just put, use the Serena set instead. And you really want to use option cards that have for a PG rate. These cards are pretty amazing. Now, cards that are available, that's always available in the game, is like, say, this card that will work on Shanae, right? It does have a 30% chance to gain 2.5% power, but it's a 30% chance gain, which kind of sucks. And you don't really need to cool down with Shanae because he has a very, very long 3PG. There's something that's very nice about him. But if you were playing during the Tekken collaboration, guys, and you have this card and you have this card, then you are loving life because this card gives you 5% power upon landing strike skills. Right, you get five percent power the moment you use a strike skill, which Shane has an abundance of, which is actually really nice. And then for the Alyssa card here, this also gains two point five percent power upon landing an active skill. Now, if you really want to try to add, get a little bit more PG rate, you would maybe have this card, and then you could have the this Soul Caliber card that also gives 5% power upon landing an active skill. So you have 10% extra power gain by using this card and this card, which would be 
very, very good. And, and if you have any of these old cars, that would also, also be really good. These are two free-to-play cars that you guys can always use to help build PG rate. If you need to put those on him, then use those. If you don't have any of these other cards, you can try to put these on them to try to gain some uh, PG rate. I mean, this is when attacking guys, there's no cooldown. So as long as you keep attacking, you're going to be building up your PG rate uh, really good. And along with the Serena set, it won't be that bad to, to go into PG. And the reason I said earlier, guys, that you don't really want to use this default every time is because whenever you do Sinead's 3 PG, you have five bars of PG at the bottom of your screen. Whenever you do three bar, whenever you do your 3 PG, it's going to use three bars of PG. Well, when you drop him back in, he's just going to have, you know, two bars of PG. That's if you have five bars to begin with before you can go into your three PG. And nine times out of ten, that just isn't going to work out, right? If you're running maybe like a Rugal set or Athena set or, you know, the new set, the banner set that actually procs the five bars of PG gain, before you go into your three PG, then it would maybe would work every single time, but it's very inconsistent because sometimes that proc doesn't trigger. It can be very, very annoying. So the way that I'm going to show you guys to do the run, it's going to be way more consistent and I think a whole lot easier to do. But the more PG rate that you have on Shanae, the better. And again, if you have that set that I showed you a second ago, that's going to be the way to go. And then, of course, Ivy with her typical Soul Calibur set, you know, the increased critical damage um, option cards here that you can put on. You can even use one of the other option card that gives the PG rate. Or not the PG rate, but that gives the extra critical damage that we just recently got in this banner here, which is uh, this card right here, which is actually really, really good. It gives the critical rate by 3%, the critical damage by 25%. You can use this card instead of, you know, one of these other two cards if you choose to do so to get it done. And then, you know, I'm going to be res running uh, five-star Okita from the... Uh, Yantama collaboration, but you guys can use Leona because she also offers 30% critical damage. Now, let me bring up the run for you guys and show you exactly what I'm doing and how you really want to play this because with Shanae, it can be a little tricky as far as trying to queue this up. So we start off with Hodoru. Now, whenever I start with Hodoru, like I said earlier, guys, I am going to stall for a little bit with her because I want to get her EX core ready. It takes about 10 seconds. So I'm just going to play around a little bit and get her EX core ready before I start. Now, if you don't have her at A5, then you don't need to worry about this. Whenever you would start off the fight, you would go just straight to Ivy and enter her 3PG, whether it's 312 or 32, whatever the case may be, you enter her 3PG immediately and then go into it. And then you'd follow the same pattern that I'm going to do after I use Ivy. All right, so we just built up 3PG. We got the Hodoru set. It proc that, it proc that uh, five bars of PG gain. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Now, here's something I want you guys to know. And watch what I do here, okay? I'm going to slow it down so you can see it really easily. I am going to dodge because I'm getting attacked. I'm going to dodge the other side. And then I'm going to dodge back. And the reason I'm going to dodge back is because I want to be against the side of the screen like against the invisible wall more or less and geese i want to be i want geese as far over to the left side of the screen or as far over to the right side of the screen as possible because whenever you're using shanae guys you want to be very very close whenever you're doing your 3pg otherwise after the 3pg you won't be very close to geese you're going to be at a distance and you're going to have to close the distance which actually causes you to use time you don't want to do that you want to be in a very very fast solid rotation so you can do a lot more damage and in all honesty guys it's a lot easier because the first attack can miss and that's your increased chill target damage received by 55 percent which actually increases your damage so watch what i do here i'll dodge over the side right and then i'm gonna dodge right back and you want to be right there see how we're all the way against the wall we got geese right next to us that's what you want at the very beginning of the fight guys you can just guard and geese will just kind of push you over to this, the corner and then you can have them set in place to where you can actually make this a very consistent run for yourself all right so we're gonna go i'm gonna wait till i got about three seconds left on the ex core and then I'm going to switch to Ivy, go into her 3PG, same old, same old guys. Now, for those of you that don't have A5 Hodoru, you know, this is what you would have started off with right here is just using Ivy going into her 3PG. Now, I want you guys to watch what I do. So what I'm doing here is I'm dropping 
Sinead in down, and I'm hitting the third and the first skill. I am not going to hit that second skill because Sinead's chill from the second skill will actually break the meter before he finishes his 3PG or right when he finishes his 3PG. And we're trying to use Hodoru's 3PG, okay? And because of that, if we break the meter with Shanae, if we break it immediately while he's doing his 3PG or immediately after his 3PG, it's going to throw your rotation all off. There's going to be a lot of the meter on Geese that's going to be worn down by the time you get to Ivy, and you won't be able to use your skills for the entire duration, which is going to lower the amount of damage that you're actually going to do. So we just do the 3 one. This is the trick with Shane. Three, one, and you're going to build three bars of PG. Right now, we have almost two bars of PG, and we're just going to keep doing our basic attacks. We're going to build it up, and once we get it, we're going to hit our three PG. Notice I did not bring in Lady Ashiro. Do not bring her in early. Bring her in after the 3PG. And I want you guys to look at where Shane is with Geese. He is right next to him. He's right in front of him. He looks like he's throwing a good old cross right across his jaw right there, which is where you want him. You want him right next to Geese, all right? And that way, when you finish, he's going to be right in front of Geese, and none of your skills are going to miss. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go three, two, one. We're going to apply our chill. Chill target damage is increased from our first skill, right? We'll get the explode. No big deal. We're going to go three, two, one. Right now, here's the thing, guys. Now, a lot of people are going to say you should use your default because this gives 60% increased attack to Shane. If I use that default right now, guys, we have the shock and the chill applied from Shane. He's going to break the meter too fast. And I found in the testing that I've done, you're better off just to use Hodoru's 3PG. Now, if you don't have Hodoru's 3PG, then maybe it'd be better just to use his default, then switch to Hodoru and just go 3, 1, 2, right? But if you're using her 3PG, then... I wouldn't recommend using the default. There might be some moments where you can squeeze it in if you feel like there's enough of that meter where you won't break it early, you won't break Geese's meter early. It's all about timing, guys. But in my situation, I'm not going to use the default. I'm going to be using Hodoru's 3PG. So we bring in Hodoru, we do our 3PG immediately, right? After the 3PG, we're going to go 3, 1, 2, okay? And I'll also bring in Kusanagi as a striker, whenever you bring in Hodoru. Nice. Okay. We're going to go three, one, two. Hit the increased target damage speed, switch an Ivy, and then, you know, three, one, and then hit her second skill and hold it down. And that, my friends, is the solid ro the rotation that you're going to be doing, right? You'll do the 3PG for Ivy again. We're going to drop in Shane, and then we're just going to go three, one, right? Drop in Shane, 3, 1, hit the 3PG. Do not use this second skill before you go into the 3PG, guys. If you do, you're gonna, I'm telling you guys, you're gonna find that he's just gonna break the meter too fast. It's almost like he's too good, to be honest, when it comes to breaking meters. So you gotta play him a little bit differently than other characters. But afterwards, I'll go 3, 2, 1. Okay, 3, 2, 1, bring in Lady Yashiro. And then I bring in Hodoru. Again, guys, if you don't have Hodor's 3PG, go ahead and use the default for Shane to get that extra 60% increased attack to allies and just bring in Hodoru and go 3, 1, 2, and then switch to Ivy. And boom. And as you guys can see, man, you know, like a lot of damage uh, from this team and you just want to keep doing the same rotation over and over and over as i will show you guys at the end of this video quite godly if i do say so myself not the best score i've ever done but a very very good score nonetheless that you're able to use a level 90 shun a now i want to jump over to a summon here real quick because i want to see if we can get one of these characters. Now, if I get Shane Ori Ori before this uh, selector, I will go another pity. If I don't, then I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. So let's do it, guys. Let's do one little pull and see what happens here. I, I'm, I'm very, very tempted, guys, but I'd feel a lot better if I got them or got one of them right now. But 
It doesn't look like I'm going to get him. So I don't know. I don't know if I really want to go any further, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, right now, I can A3 and A2 Shanae or Iori, or I can A3 one of them and have an extra memory for one of them, which means I would only need three more memories. I'm going to go ahead and do one more pull here. Just why not? Yeah, so unfortunately, no luck. That's not a good omen, guys, but it's only two pulls, to be fair, right? I've had a lot of luck up until this point, so I'm going to have to think about uh, what I'm going to do for the future. If I'm going to go to this pity again, I don't know, because I actually still need three actual memories. I mean, if you go to the selector, right, you'll have another selector, so I actually need two memories of one of these characters, whether it's Iori or Shanae, in order to A5 one of them and do some A5 gameplay. But the the problem is, you know, for me, even though I love Shanae, I think he's an amazing character, I really would want to A5 Iori more than him, just because I like Iori's gameplay style a little bit more, and the truth is, he's just an OG character that I'm more fond of than Shanae. Still love Shanae, still think he's a great character, but I'm definitely more of a Iori fan. So guys, I'm going to leave you with that run, man. Let me know how you're all doing in the game. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.
Give it up, old. <laughs>